Tis the season to shine with H&M. Discover the holiday collection and find fashionable pieces for your wardrobe or for under the tree. Get inspired and dazzle with this year's glam. From tuxedo styles, bow detailed pieces, impressive prints, and more. From unforgettable looks to unforgettable gifts. With fashion finds to home decor, find it all at H&M. Treat your loved ones and yourself this season. Shop in-store or at hm.com. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2375, Benefits of Cold Showers, by Eric Leia of ericlea.com, and I'm Dr. Neil Malik, your host. Welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, or welcome for the first time if you're new here. This is the podcast where I act as your very own personal narrator and read to you from some of the most popular health and fitness blogs online. And with that, let's get right to today's article as we optimize your life. Benefits of Cold Showers by Eric Leia of ericlea.com The thought of stepping into an icy shower might already be giving you chills, but bear with me here when I say, if you start integrating them into your regime, your body will shortly be thanking you for it. Before we get into why, I'll share a little background on the start of my cold shower addiction. Cold showers are second nature to me now, but it all started quite a few years ago after a trip with some great friends to a healthy living resort in Miami. Minus the quality R&R time of just getting to be with close friends, the entire trip revolved around giving our healthy lifestyle a shot in the arm. From intense workouts to massages to yoga classes, we were focused on rejuvenating our healthy lifestyle. Well, after our workout on the first day, at the end of one of our pool decks, we found a set of contrasting baths. One hot tub with a timer, and one cold tub with a timer. Apparently, the hot tub was used first to relax muscles and blood vessels, followed by the cold bath to tighten blood vessels and increase blood circulation to internal organs. Needless to say, we jumped in. And wow, what an experience. The immediate movement out of the cozy, relaxing warm water into frigid temps all the way up to my forehead was a shock, but in a great way. It felt like a shot of caffeine through the veins, like everything inside of me jolted to life all at once. That experience motivated me to better understand what was happening inside my body through the contrasting baths and how both heat and cold immersion could play such a critical role in overall health and recovery. Here, I'll share with you the benefits I've discovered regarding cold showers, which are any showers with a water temperature below 70 degrees, and what they can do for you. Trust me, once you know and feel the benefits, a momentary dip in the cold water won't deter you. Benefits of a cold shower. One, increased circulation. Cold water encourages your body to reroute blood to your organs to keep them warm and nurtured, while warm water brings blood back toward the muscles and skin. A cold shower followed by a blast of warm water or vice versa boosts circulation to keep blood and nutrients moving throughout your body. Two, decreased soreness post-workout. The same way ice reduces inflammation in an injured area, cold showers can help reduce soreness. You douse your body with cold water to lower your internal temperature so that when it heats back up, it does so quickly, delivering freshly oxygenated blood to muscles. That delivery in turn can facilitate a quicker recovery. Three possible improvements in weight loss efforts and improved metabolism. One study has shown a potential connection between certain fat cells like brown adipose tissue, also known as BAT, and energy expenditure when exposed to cold water. Other studies show that lengthy blasts of cold water shock the metabolic system, which is responsible for, among other things, calorie burn. When our body is exposed to cold temperatures, it activates brown fat cells in order to generate heat, mostly through shivering, which can increase your calorie burn. Four, energy boost. This doesn't require too much of an explanation, but clearly a shot of cold water will force your eyes open, get you moving, and put your mental state in a ready position. Aside from the shock, studies also show it can activate your sympathetic nervous system to release neurotransmitters and endorphins that can give you a shot of alertness. 5. Increased resistance 
to stress. A blast of cold water is no joke. If you're not in the mood, it can be almost infuriating. But here's the thing. You've chosen to take the frigid temperatures straight on. So you get to choose how to deal with it. Do you choose a reaction or a response? Response, right? A thoughtful and deliberate choice of how best to handle the stress in front of you. As you reinforce the practice of response over reaction with cold showers, you also practice your ability to handle other types of stressors. Six, bolstered immune system. From less frequency of calling in sick to work to potential disease prevention, the list of benefits of cold showers for a healthier body and system is long, though not entirely proven. That said, they have been found to be a regular habit of the healthy. This may be due to the fact that cold showers stimulate leukocytes, which help your body fight infections and common illnesses. 7. A blast of endorphins. Remember how cold showers can activate your sympathetic nervous system? Many of the same endorphins and neurotransmitters that are released during this process that give you that energy boost can also help reduce symptoms of depression and low mood. How to work cold showers into your routine. Cold showers are a supplement. Let's start with that. Your healthy lifestyle needs to be as holistic as your eating or workout regimen. So by no means are they the only way to achieve the aforementioned perks cold showers offer. Focus on using them as a supplement to bolster your overall health-focused efforts. Start with contrast showers. No need to go submerging yourself head to toe in not so warm water immediately. Try alternating warm, and cold water at the end of your shower. Give yourself a blast of cold for 30 seconds. Then move the dial back to warm. Try it a few times, increasing the duration of the cold parts each time. Dr. Sebastian Nepp, a Bavarian priest and forefather of natural medicine, was a huge proponent of contrast showers as they helped ease his tuberculosis diagnosis, allowing the cold water to force all blood to the middle of the body and the hot water to rush back out to rejuvenate the body's entire system. Be aware. First, and as always, consult with your physician before adding any intense practices to your lifestyle. Make sure you have a full understanding of your body, genetics, and all that is going on inside and out. Second, specifically if you have any heart issues, cold showers are not a good idea. The blast of cold water forces your blood vessels to constrict, and that can exacerbate any cardiovascular condition. You just listened to the post titled Benefits of Cold Showers by Eric Lea of ericlea.com. Is hiring challenging? Yes. Do you love a challenge? Also yes. You need a hiring partner that can help you rise to the challenge. You need Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Instead of spending hours on multiple job sites searching for candidates with the right skills, Indeed's a powerful hiring platform that can help you do it all. With Instant Match, over 80% of employers get quality candidates whose resume on Indeed matches their job description the moment they sponsor a job, according to Indeed Data US. One of the things I love about Indeed is that Indeed shows you candidates whose resumes fit your description immediately after you post, so you can hire faster. Start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at indeed.com slash health. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at indeed.com slash health. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. I wanted to share with you a personal story I had with a cold shower. Well, actually, a cold bath. I was at a fancy spa while on vacation once, and they had a mysterious, perfectly square, eight foot by eight foot pool in the middle of the men's dressing room. Look, I knew this wasn't a jacuzzi because the actual jacuzzi, complete with bubbles and steam rising from the top, was located just to the right of this mysterious pool. But this pool had no jacuzzi jets, no steam rising from it, it was perfectly still. It was like the surface of the water was glass. My curiosity got the better of me. I had to figure out what this mysterious pool was. So I dipped my toe in and it felt like I just put my toe in a pile of snow. 
the water was ice cold. I instantly knew what this pool was. It was the equivalent of what Eric discussed in his post. Instead of a cold shower, it was a full cold water immersion. I thought, I gotta try this. So I took a deep breath and put my whole foot in the icy cold water. For a moment, I felt like I couldn't breathe. The shock of the cold took my breath away. I then knew that if I wanted to have any chance of dunking my entire body in this thing, I would need to do it quickly, otherwise it's never gonna happen. So I went for it. I closed my eyes and quickly dunked my entire body. I won't lie, it was painful. It felt like a billion needles were poking every inch of my skin. I didn't stay in for very long. I got out and the needles didn't stop stabbing me. But somehow, just as Eric described, it felt invigorating. Probably because, again, as Eric mentioned, good feeling hormones were flooding my brain. I felt energized. It was like my senses were heightened. I had never experienced anything like this before, and I could understand why people swear by it. I appreciated that Eric mentioned that before trying this out, you should make sure it's safe for you. There are some studies that have actually found that cold water immersions, like cold showers and the experience I just described, may increase the amount of free radicals produced in the body. Free radicals are potentially harmful compounds that may increase the risk for certain diseases like cancer and dementia. So it's important to weigh the potential pros and cons of this practice, and along with your healthcare provider, decide, as always, what's best for you. All right, that's another edition of Optimal Health Daily. I hope you're having a great weekend. Thank you so much for listening. And I'll be back here tomorrow as usual, where your optimal life awaits.